Hello peeps, welcome back to Big Dick Player. We're in our new slot on a Friday instead of the Wednesday. We're changing things up a little bit. But you can be assured that it will still be the same format. We are still taking a look at some cool decks and seeing how they do in ranked play. So today's deck is one I found on hearthpine.com and prepare to be boarded because this is the next gen pirates deck. Oh yes. You don't see many pirate decks uh, and I certainly haven't seen any for a long time. So I was a little surprised to see that this one had been upvoted as much as it had and I thought well in that case I'm going to give it a try and see uh, how it does. I've only played a few matches with this but so far it's been pretty successful. I haven't actually lost a match with it yet but as I say I only have played like three or four games with it so far. Uh, normally I try and give uh, decks a little bit more time than, than that but um, I've been having quite some fun with it and I thought well while I'm in the mood I'm going to record it for you. So here we go. So let's have a look at what's in the deck. Um, we'll start at the top and work our way down. So we've got two executes. Uh, I have only needed one so far but you know, it's always nice to have two, especially if it gets to later on in the game. It's always nice to have uh, something to get rid of some big minions. Uh, we've got one upgrade, which uh, comboed with any of the weapons that are already uh, in the deck is fantastic. If you can combo it with the Gorehal, then it's wondrous, because then you can hit to the face twice, which is fantastic. Uh, we have two Blood Cell Corsairs. Not a bad one drop because of the fact that it's got two health. Um, but it's not great. But it's okay for kind of getting rid of um, en enemy weapons like rogues, other warriors, etc. Because most of the time, if they equip a weapon, they'll probably use it that turn. And then obviously, most weapons will only have two durability. So removing one durability from an opponent's weapon means that you get rid of it completely. So, we've got a couple of Blood Cell Corsairs in there, but it, they're mainly there because they're pirates. Two South Sea Deckhands, again, uh, pirates. So, because there's a lot of weapons, this you want to play this only when you have a weapon equipped, because otherwise it's a bit pointless. Um, if, if you're looking for a one-drop uh, card to play, then a Blood Cell Corsair might be better off, depending on who you're playing against. Um, fiery, two Fiery War Racks, because it's a weapon and it's awesome for two costs. Uh, two Blood Cell Raiders. Now, if you can combo these um, with your weapons, then that makes these Blood Cell Raiders incredibly useful. Um, if you can, it's, it's a bit situational, but if you can combo them also with the Warsong Commander, which we have at three cost, um, they get the charge buff before the uh, extra attack is added. So they'll gain the, the charge because they've only got two attack, uh, and this buffs anything with three or less. So they'll get the charge, and then the attack gets popped on top. So if you're wielding a Fiery War Axe, this becomes a 5-3 with charge, which is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you can then combo that with the Death Spite or the Gore Howl, and suddenly it becomes a lot better. We have two Captain's Parrots. Uh, this is more just to get uh, pirates into your hand more than anything else, um, but can be used to trade against some other sort of one and two cost creatures like Loot Hoarders and Novice Engineers, etc. Uh, speaking of loot hoarders, we have two loot hoarders. This is mainly for card draw. That is not a pirate. We can clearly see that he's not a pirate, uh, but we need some extra card draw in here. So we have two loot hoarders. Um, you can, if you really want to, uh, you can combo playing the loot hoarder with your last uh, durability on your death's bite weapon, which deals one damage to all minions. So uh, if you're really struggling for cards, uh, but you have a Death Spite and a Loot Hoarder, you can put the Loot Hoarder out, use your last uh, durability on the Death Spite, which will kill the Loot Hoarder and give you a card. So 
if you're really struggling for, for cards, then that's, that is always an option. We have two South Sea Captains to buff your pirates. Uh, putting this out and trying to keep this guy alive uh, is is pretty useful, especially when you've got uh, Blood Cell Corsairs and South Sea Deckhands who are a little bit fragile. You, you, if you combo them with the South Sea Captain, suddenly you've got a 2-3 uh, a for one and a 3-2 for one, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. And obviously, we've got the Warsong Commander, which combos well with pretty much everything in this deck. Um, I don't think there's many cards in this deck that have more than three attack when you initially put them down. Uh, so, we have, as I say, we've got two Death Spite, which are fantastic weapons that we get from Nax Ramus. Um, just, just great weapons. If you can uh, upgrade them as well, make them into a 5-3, you've essentially got uh, an Arcanite Reaper for... An Arcanite Reaper with an extra durability, that is. So that's pretty cool. Uh, two Dread Corsairs. Now, if you can combo Death Spite uh, into uh, your Dread Corsair, doesn't cost you anything. Which is very nice. <laughs> so you've basically got a, a, a free 3-3 three, three taunt um, on that turn. Which is cool. Very cool. Uh, and if you can put that out with the South Sea Captain, it comes a 4-4 four, four taunt, which is even better. Uh, we've got a Gnome Machine Inventor. Again, not a pirate, but for card draw. Uh, and the Gnome Machine Inventor generally trades pretty well with some of the smaller creatures, so that's always useful. Uh, we have one Brawl. A little bit random in, in my experience, but can work out to be very useful. If you've only got... If you find yourself in a bit of a pinch, um, this can be uh, particularly useful for getting rid of some big creatures. Uh, one Captain Greenskin, because he's a pirate and he's going to buff your weapon. You can make your weapon pretty beefy when you've, you've got a Captain's Greenskin and an upgrade um, available to you. That can make your weapon do a lot more damage than it was originally intended to, which is fantastic. Uh, we have two Sludge Belchers. These are more to try and protect your lower cost minions that you have on the board or slow your opponent down from doing too much damage. Um, and they're a great taunt. I mean, 3-5 is, is a pretty good uh, stat-wise for 5 cost, but the fact that you get an extra 1-2 slime with taunt afterwards uh, just kind of makes things a little bit more annoying for your opponent. Um, and then we get into uh, some of the bigger, higher cost things. We've got one Sylvanas Windrunner. Um, fairly standard. I mean, Sylvanas has become a lot more popular since Naxxramas. Um, mainly because of the Death Rattle decks that have been going around. But you can't really argue with the fact that, you know, she has a, uh, she has a mind control effect. Which is just phenomenal. Then we have the Gore Howl, which I mentioned earlier. Um, attacking minions reduces its attack instead of its durability. But if you can combo this uh, with an upgrade, then you're basically going to be able to do 8 damage twice to the face of uh, your opponent. Which is pretty cool. And then, last but not least, we have Kel'Thuzad, because his kind of special ability is fantastic. And uh, it can be really annoying for your opponent. Really annoying. So, there we go. That's the Next Gen Pirates deck. Let's take a look at it in action. Gerash versus Thrall. For Doomhammer, victory or death. Okay, so we're going second. And uh, I am going to get rid of all three of these. I'm going to keep the loot hoarder. But what we need are Fiery War Axe. That's what we want straight away. We want that in our opening hand. We want a Fiery War Axe. <laughs> hey, we get both of them. Well, that was a bit of luck. Awesome. I, I sometimes keep the Loot Hoarder if, in case, if I have it in my hand. Uh, just in case I don't get what I need, I can maybe draw into it if I'm really lucky. So let's give this guy a greeting. Greetings. We've got a Blood Cell Corsair as well, which is cool because he might have a... Um, he might have a he might have a weapon being a shaman, and that might help uh, reduce the amount. Unless it's like a doom hammer, in which case removing one durability from it's not really going to be that effective. Hmm. 
Alright, I think we can put the loot holder out next turn. Yeah, let's put the loot holder out. Uh, I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave that taunt up because I can use the loot hoarder to get rid of that next turn, perhaps. Uh, I'm not going to use the upgrade uh, on a weapon that's already lost to durability. I think I'd be better off uh, better off using it on something else. Alright, so let's get rid of that. And then I think we... Dread Corsair? No. Let's get the South Sea Captain out first. Do we want to get rid of this? He's probably going to trade it into my loot hoarder next turn. In which case I get a card. So... No? I just gotta go for his face. That might have been a bad decision, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then if I if I rewar axe next turn, my dread corsair will be cost me one mana. So I can fiery war axe, which will be two mana. This will be one mana. Oh, there we go. So that'd be three mana, and then I can upgrade. Uh... Oh no! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I've got another one. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Fiery War Axe. Uh, Dread Corsair. And upgrade. So that, more for the extra durability on it rather than the extra attack, because I'm probably going to need both. Um... I'm probably going to need to kill off the uh, the other wolf with my weapon as well. Depends what he plays next, I suppose. Oh, he's going to kill off my taunt with a rock biter. Okay. In that case, I shall kill this off, and I'll play a side belcher and pass the turn. We've got six mana next turn. Hmm. South Sea Captain, I think it's got to go out. Could use... Oh, man. Okay. Oh. And there's the Doomhammer I was talking about. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's give him another Sludge Belcher and see how he does against that. And might as well, might as well use a blood, cor blood cell corsair as well. And I'm not going to attack with my weapon because I don't have another weapon to draw into. Oh, okay. Weird. Um, let's see. I might as well put him out because we have another pirate on the board. Let's go straight for the face, I think. And do I want to get rid of this? I kind of do. Oh! Okay. Uh. <laughs> well. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. I thought the match was still fairly even. I thought. Oh well, <laughs> that's uh, that's the next gen pirates. That's a bit of an anti climax. I'm sorry about that. Um, but we won, so you know I'll take a victory. Bear in mind this is rank 15, so uh, you know I'm not playing at legend tier or anything like that. So, uh, but if you want a bit of fun, and uh, you know you're not too worried about making legend or anything legend rack, this is pretty fun deck. Um, and it's a bit different as well, because you don't see uh, many pirate decks about with the warrior. And so, 
people don't really know how to respond to it a lot of the time because they don't see it very often. You know, you see zoo decks all the time and you can usually tell within the first two or three turns whether it's a zoo deck or not and that how you can react to it. You don't see you don't see pirate decks. So if they start playing pirates, you're like, what? What on earth is going to happen? I, I don't know how to counter this because I don't I've no, not played against it for ages. So in that respect, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to tell you you're going to win every match because you probably won't. I haven't won every match that I've played with this. The first few uh, I won, and since then I haven't necessarily won every single match. But uh, it's a fun deck. I'm certainly going to play it a bit more. So if you fancy playing this deck, I shall put a link in the description as usual that will take you directly to Hearthbone, to the deck listing, so you can check it out for yourself. Um, give it a thumbs up while you're there to help out the uh, the deck creator. Uh, if you play this deck and uh, you're making videos, let me know how you get on. Link me some videos of you using this deck. I'd love to see those. Uh, and all, as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time for some more Big Deck Player. Bye-bye.